How's it going, YouTubers? My name is Slugbug Zero, and welcome back to Undertale. So, thank God I didn't reset the data from the last episode, and because I didn't get the true. Whoa, Jesus, okay. Chill, bro. I didn't get the true pacifist ending. So I, I'm back. I, I was curious, and I. I had to be sure. I looked it up to see how to get the true pacifist ending. I didn't un uncover much, just uh, the, the top kind of box that shows up on Google and it lists a couple steps. And these are things I kind of thought of, but I never actually did because I still ended up forgetting. So we are back at Undyne's house. And, I'm also stupid, because I totally forgot that this duck was here, so I could get back. Like, in the an episode before, I said I couldn't get back because Undyne cut the bridge and I fell down and we came back up. This duck can bring me back to... This duck or it can carry me back across, and I might be able to get back to Sans and Papyrus' house. But, for now, let's go to Undyne's house. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? Oh, it was... Wait, didn't he call us about this once? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Hell yeah, man. Okay, stand behind me. Psst, make sure to give her this. She loves these. Aww. And thank god I also went ahead and uh, took that date with Papyrus, that was also one of the steps. <laughs> hi, hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. <laughs> hi, I don't think we've... Oh god. Why don't you two come in? Oh god. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, uh thanks. <laughs> I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> I think she's probably lying to Papyrus about that. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie. I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You do have fun. Oh god. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Really? How oh, delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. <gasps> oh, Papyrus, you're so smooth. Challenge? What? That was the wrong voice. Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you. <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. Why don't you have a seat? <laughs> sure. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Holy crap. All set. What would you like? Hey, don't get up. 
you're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. <laughs> um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Uh... I'll take the soda, I guess. Oh, soda! Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Heh, <laughs> that's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh, why do I have it? Oh. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait, I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Okay. T, huh? Coming right up. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Oh, and if he went through the window that way, then why is there glass on the inside? I just realized that. <laughs> okay, it's all done. I kill. I still can't decide your gender. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. Oh, it's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. <laughs> you know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt... bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now, I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? Oh, <laughs> oh dude, this is so nice. So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a... Excuse me. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. Oh, God. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, We'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid, we're going to be best friends. <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. <laughs> Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. I... Punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah. 
Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. <laughs> but for now. We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brands. They're the cheapest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just put them into the pot. Yeah, I'm into it. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Oh, train for this! Oh, oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh God! What the hell? What happened? Uh, let me do it. No! That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let's let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Honor! <laughs> Honor, darn it! <laughs> Honor! <laughs> Wait, that's too... Man, no wonder Papyrus likes it cooking. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I just did. I just set her house on fire. <laughs> so what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. What? I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. That's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. No! Oh god, I don't know what to do! Do I actually attack her this time? You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. What? What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking in full force. You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh, <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid sectoring stick. But the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgard are fated to fight, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. <gasps> this is what I needed! Eventually some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. Oh my god, she's talking about the genocide run. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Oh, Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait. This is sudden, but... Can you deliver something for me? Papyrus suggested that I ask you, but he told me when I still hated you. So, uh, anyway, here, just take it. Oh. Well, what are you waiting for? Go deliver it. Uh, oh, yeah. 
It's addressed to Dr. Alfie's. <gasps> ah! Okay, see you. And that's where exactly where I was gonna head next. What? 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 It's a living. Oh. Sounds like only fire lives here now. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. Alright. Duck, carry me back over. This little bird wants to carry you across. Hell yeah. Thanks, duck. Wow, this is intense. Even more intense than when that that sweet cooking lesson from Undyne. Oh, so intense. Yay! Cool, so now he'll be waiting there for when I go back. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Oh, I've already done this. Go away. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and save, just in case something stupid happens. <laughs> Woo! Oh, what are you? Three gold for the fairy. Oh, thanks. Later, then. I don't need no fairy. I can walk. Don't even know what you're gonna take me. Oh, wait. Would it have taken me, like, so I didn't have to walk back through all of this? I don't know. This what? This is gonna be a pretty long walk. Um. Oh well. Maybe I should have taken it. Couldn't have hurt. I got plenty of gold. Okay. Well, never mind. I'm gonna have to take it <laughs> and hope it leads me back to. Wait, how come the boardwalk ends there? Well then... Fairy, you better lead me in the right direction. Alright. Yes, hop on. Woo! Oh yes! Thanks for stepping on my face. Here's the three gold. What? Wait. So did he... I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. So... <coughs> Excuse me. The game made sure that no matter what, you could get back to Sans's house. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Is this where the piano was? Hold up a sec. I want to be sure. No, it wasn't. Dang it. I want to figure out. I want to try this tune in that piano. Because I really don't know what else to try. <laughs> I don't know any sort of menacing sounding tune that could be playing in the hallway that you then play on the piano. Unless, maybe it's only something you can do in the genocide run. Maybe something specific will play. And then you can try to um, input it into the piano. I don't know. Hey. Yes, I'm already so close. Nice. It's gonna happen. Oh, it's gonna happen. Please tell me I have that key. I do have it. Yes! Oh, have Undyne writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewrite. That's why she asked you, because you have no standards. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, dude, if this works, where's locked? You use a mystery key, but nothing happened. No! What? I f it says the door's locked! For real? 
kind of sucks. I thought for sure that'd work. Dang it. Oh well. Oh, now the long, annoying, other words journey back. faster way. Why couldn't I teleport? Alright, game. You let Sans teleport, but not me. How's that fair? Ah, oh, yay. Three gold for the fairy. Yes. Hop on. Woo! Yay! I guess that may count as they stepping on my face. Here's the three gold. So, do I get three gold every time I ride you? I guess that's a way to farm gold pretty quickly. It might take a while. Oh, please, please tell me that duck is there. Oh, yes! Thank you. Oh, I probably had to take him anyway because the path to go down obviously is not possible because it's just a drop off and the game won't allow me. Whew. Yes! Oh, the power of the duck! <laughs> Woo! Thanks, dude. Ooh, sweet. Dang it! Get out of here! I don't want any of your crap! Thought you were the piano. I love this tune so much! Ah, uh, yes. This is the journey that you did not see when I made my way back. Uh, let me tell you, it's not fun. Well, it kind of is, because I get to listen to this sweet music. But I mean... <clears throat> this is the old, that's the only part of the game that I wish you could kind of skip over. Going the long journeys back and forth. <laughs> Cause boy. Oh, I'm yawning just thinking about it. Oh, we're almost there, though. I'm, uh, practicing my juking skills. Pretty good at it, I'd say. Too bad Sans disappeared before I could talk to him when I was being chased by him time. Alright, Alfies, let's get this over with. Yes. Let's go. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. Yes. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh. Oh no, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. What the hell is that? Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. D did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I said. Oh no. Oh no. And we're gonna get the chance to tell her it was undying? I don't really deserve to be forgiven. 
much less, um, this, and so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. What? Not undying. No, ah, Alfie's too. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. Oh God, man, how do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of um. Anyway, let's do this thing. Oh God. Hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the day, right? Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts for anticipation for a day like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that, but I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, <laughs> how about... This magical spear repair kit, let I, um, hey, let's forget about the <laughs> items! <laughs> let's just start the date. No, it's not supposed to be with me! It's supposed to be with Undyne! This isn't right. I feel like I'm stealing this from her. Yeah, let's, uh, date. <laughs> uh,. Do you like anime? Hell yeah! Hey, me too. <laughs> hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. <laughs> here we are. This is where Antine and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really. Uh, oh no, that's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well, oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea, so I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Ah! Have you at least seen her? Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Dang it. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse than I put it like that. I'm sorry. I messed up again. Unthine's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with, but I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny, and I'm just a nobody, a fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm, she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or truth where neither of us are? They say, be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll get all get, get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Untime the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Uh, Roleplay? It actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> Ahem. Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? <laughs> I could totally suck at this. Or I could be kind of like her. 
Ha! Ha! Glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. <laughs> nope. Um, you see, I, I, I want, I, I want to take it comedically here, but I want to act like Undyne, and I doubt that's the route she'd take. I, I haven't been exactly truthful with you. You, you see, I, I, oh, forget it. Undyne, I, I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong and nice. You've always listened to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special, uh, like telling me that you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undyne, I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne. Hold me. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. <laughs> Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? <laughs> wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we are, but, I mean, we, actually, we are only romantically ever playing as you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, oh my god. I mean, and I, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well... Everything. I told you that she was like something really I just used to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those those are just uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone. I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajama that Alfie's. I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alfie's. Undyne, I I really think you're neat, okay? Oh, please. Oh god. Alfies, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alfies, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Undyne, you... You're going... To train me? What, me? Oh no. Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. <laughs> get those bones shaking. It's time to jog a hundred laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. On time. I'll do my best. <laughs> oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? <laughs> I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princess, here I come! <laughs> uh, thanks for taking care of Alfie's. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. <laughs> oh, uh, It's so adorable. Oh god, man, what do I do now? Is that... is that all? Is that all that's required to... Get the... Oh. Howdy! If it wasn't for my good friend, who trusts me... This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. <laughs> uh, now... I feel strongly, and for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her. Lab. House. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Okay. I guess it's not over then. Ooh. Another lock.
long journey awaits us. God, I just love it so much. So good. Get Punk to talk to Alfie's. She's probably gonna tell me something about Asgore too, won't she? Like Undyne did. Here in Hotland. No, Sweet lava, bro. Wish I should be sophisticated, carrying around a cup of water, but it just melted. Mm -hmm. Woo! Let's go. I wonder if uh, I'll still be on the monitor. Yep. Sure enough. Alright, well, it's a note from Alfie's. Read it? Hell yeah, man. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't mentally make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this node. You all at least deserve to know what I did. Her bathroom. Dude, what is this? Warning, warning, elevator losing power. Okay. M tethered stability lost. Altitude dropping. Ow. Question mark. Uh -uh. Okay. Wow, this is not creepy at all. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three, but extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster soul last. Entry number five, I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power Determination. Wait, hold on a sec. One, two, three. Where was entry number four? Huh, okay. This is creepy, man. So determination by chips. Nah, I'm good. Power room. So chips are 
<laughs> There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator, lost power, enter the center door. That's all you could read. So basically, determination is what keeps the souls kind of alive? No. I'm trying to think here, man. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still com comatose. And soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. So wait, is it possible that those six souls they have aren't human souls? Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for their funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Wait, where's entry... 8 and 9? Oh wait, that was 9, wasn't it? Okay. There's definitely a couple entries missing. Turn on the sink. Off the sink. What if I turn them all on? Oh god, why did I do that? Crap! Um... What? Take out your cell phone. You can hear your voice through the receiver. What the heck? Oh god, memory head. Join? What the... What is this? Refuse? Thank God, Jesus. There's a red key lying in the sink. What? Holy crap. Um. Sure. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain dropped it. That's all you could read. Well, I think I already got it. Click. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. Yep. Maybe I should buy those bags of chips. Go ahead and eat the monster candy. I'ma do it. I'ma buy that bag of chips. Alright, how good are they? There's 13 HP. Aw, oh, dang, for real? I can get so many better healing items. Ah, nice. Okay. Venture number 12. Whoa, even more skipped. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Venture number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Wait, did Alphys create the monsters like Undyne? Because she gave them so much determination? I guess it's possible. Oh my god. The clock is broken. That's number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all waking, walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. That scared me for a second. Hold on. Oh my god, there's so many... Why there have to be split in directions? Golden flowers. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. 
This is a human can't absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. What the... What the hell is that? Huh? What? You on point for safety? Whoa, okay, okay, okay. What the? How are you? What? They're like multiple monsters combined. What the heck is happening? Okay, so now here's what I don't know what I should do. If I should go down this time or go back. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Hold. That's all you could read. Okay. So, yep, now nah, I need to go back to get the blue key. God. Ooh, can I get my HP back up? Nice. Thank God there's a save point right there. Alright, what you got? Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asbolt, returned the vessel to his garden. And I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Hmm. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. What? I'm going back. Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? a green key okay that wasn't creepy at all I'm afraid to go to the left for um, various reasons oh my god entry number 11 now that Metaton's made it big he never talks to me anymore except to ask when I'm going to finish his body but I'm afraid that if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. I don't... I don't like this. There's a switch on the wall. Press it. Oh no. Are you gonna drop a key? Oh god. No! 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 I can't turn it back off! Ah! Go away! Dang it. It's the amalgamate. Uh. Beckon? Whoa, okay. So this is like that big dog, whatever. Uh, then I... Pet him? Wow! 
What the? I question my sanity right now. The stage one happiness? Okay, well, I didn't get a key out of it, but... Okay. And that is where I'll leave this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, then why not leave a like down below, support the, ch uh, <laughs> support the channel, and if you're new, why not subscribe? And if you want to see more Undertale, then leave a comment down below and I will get right back to this underground lab as quick as I possibly can. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you hope you did enjoy, stay slimy, my slugs.